All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We got game number two coming at you. Stay Green versus BMG, of course. This is the King of the Hill event, Banning Draft Tournament. Stay Green trying to be your first official Kings here. BMG trying to force a third and final game with a set up for your CBK joined by Insania once again. So uh, as, as with Banning Draft, here we are, game two now. Well, what are we going to see different this time around? We had Zephyr, Grenix, Corrupted Keeper bands. Actually, some pretty solid bands there. Yeah, I think the big difference this game is that BMG are going to pick serious. They are going to pick <laughs> to win, as they grinded it last time. I think they weren't really quite doing that the game before, and they still were able to put on a pretty good show, and that just goes to show how well they play as a team. Yeah. And I like that first pick, MOA. He's just so versatile, and in a batting draft pick, you never know what heroes are going to be left for you. Mm -hmm. It's kind of similar to lock pick, how it worked, where you had to pick a safe, you had to lock safe heroes so that you could always fit them into your lineup. And... Master Arms has so many different routes they could go after with this, so I like that pick. Yeah, definitely a solid and make sense pick here from BMG. So yeah, definitely give it the diversity and whatnot. Um, any other serial standing? Maybe a little bit more unconventional that a standing ideas that we could possibly see in this pool. Um, I think interesting. Yeah, I was gonna say interesting to note is that we don't really have a lot of suicide heroes on the board. So heroes like Valkyrie instantly become much higher uh, value. There are quite a lot of initiators. I'm surprised they went for Fade here. Uh, Maraxxus is on the board. Oh, wow, they go for Hammer. Okay. Um, so, no, still thinking they're a little bit more fun heroes. I think Maraxxus would have been a better choice there yeah. over Hammerstorm, and that's what I expected them to pick. Um, but, no, they chose not to. Stay green. A lot of support heroes on the pool, so they don't need to really need to worry about that. BMG already picked two of the strongest ones, I think. Empath is still there. Um, but there's there are still other options if they have to go for it though. Yeah. So don't really need to feel too stressed about picking that. I like the I like for, I'd like for them to go actually um, pick up Empath here and probably get a lane for her to a hero for her to lane with. But it looks like they're going for damage. Okay. I like it. Yeah. Voodoo Jester. We've not Nova played him back in the day, way <laughs> back in the day. It's been a while now. Yeah. But, um, I like seeing that hero. Yeah, I mean, it's there's an interesting synergy between uh, Voodoo Jester and Bombardier if they can get later on into the game. You know, the Voodoo Jester just gets that curse ground off with a stun, and the Bombardier just drop, drops the ulti. Should be a guaranteed kill on pretty much anyone. So um, there's a little bit of synergy going on there. Maybe perhaps a support fade together with the Valkyrie on lane. Uh, creates a very dangerous long lane as well, so... Huh. <laughs> Probably picking up a carry here for Chessie, I think. Yeah. Salmon or so, seems like appropriate. Hero. Salmon would be fun. I would love to see oh, the Salmon again. That was yeah. really fun. Especially yeah. with Cersei. That was, that was right. That's uh, You were actually yeah. You yeah. Were part of that. You were the Cersei <laughs> that match. Exactly. <laughs> that was entertaining was to so watch. so chaotic. I was so OP. I That's had a mock of brilliance and I could just, combo, yeah, yeah. I could just continue like spamming illusions on his mock illusions. And you know, illusions have mocks. So I could just keep farming with him. It was absolutely ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Thunderbringer, uh, that final pick, obviously, you know, making points of that. Predator is going to be the final pick for Stay Green, so maybe yeah. a more conventional carry here. Mm -hmm. No, uh, in general, just uh, I like their, uh, their, their heroes. They have pretty good synergy. The only problem is that they don't really have a lot of AUE, except for the Fade and Bombardier. Whereas if you look at BMG, pretty much every single one of their heroes have provided a lot of AOE damage. And uh, that Thunderbringer again. I mean, maybe maybe we're gonna see him in real games too. I think the hero has potential. It's just mm -hmm. you gotta be able to uh, you gotta figure out how to lane him. I think that's the biggest problem right now. Yeah. Yeah. The the, the lack of escape, the very squishy presence. Uh, you know, not the best attack range. You definitely there are issues within that laning phase when it comes down yeah. to it. So I, li I like we said that that idea of the whole Nivora Thunderbringer combo. That must be. <laughs> Pretty powerful combo. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. It's ridiculous. Non stop lane, chain lightning and blast of lightning span. That seems like it'd be ridiculous, but. Well, we are going to see it again here, at least in Thunderbringer, so excited to see that. And I think this game is a, is a little bit more even in the sense of the drafts go than last game, for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I think, honestly, I like BMG's drafts. I, I feel like they have everything they need to really play an aggressive game, and. Stay green, I, I kind of feel like the lack of AoE is really going to hurt them. They're going to go for a long lane tri lane, though. This is interesting. They, they're facing a rally, so I'm not really sure if that's the right decision. Yeah. I mean, rally, MOA, Pyromancer, I feel, is a much stronger tri lane than what they have uh, on stay green side. But I suppose they just want to provide entertainment for the viewers. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. 
Yeah, yeah they're going to send the Valkyrie Voodoo Jester fade lane. Yeah, that is interesting. Obviously, I mean, they definitely got some good stuns uh, coming out here. Not the most reliable on some of them, perhaps, but, um, you know, the, the synergy could be there. The lockdown potential is there on their part, but, yeah, as you put it out, uh, Rally especially can definitely foil plans with that combo. So BMG initially, they're going to send all five up here, and we'll see how they kind of spread things out, uh, perhaps once they realize how the landing phase is going to... If you were BMG, you saw this tri lane, would you just send uh, the Rally up and that's that, or would you try to contest it with your own tri lane? Um... It looks like they're going to contest it with their own tri lane with Hammerstorm here. Uh, I don't know. I think they still have a much stronger tri lane. The Hammerstorm MOA at Pyromancer is just so much damage. And at level 1, I think they have kill potential that Stay Green aren't even close to. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see. They have a ranged farmer as well on Stay Green's end. So that's one hero less that's able to harass. It, it's not the biggest deal, but it, it could have an impact in a slow-paced laning phase. So... I'm I'm very interested to see how this goes. Swinomel is playing the Predators, a little bit surprising, and Chessie playing that Bombardier with a very weird skin. Uh, <laughs> weird or freaking awesome? I don't know. It's up <laughs> to you, I suppose. For you to decide. No. Yeah, exactly. It, it, it is a very it's it's kind of that theme of obviously with like the Balfour with the big Cookie Monster yeah, guy. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's there's definitely the, the Candyland theme. Even I think it's safe to say so. Yeah, a little different for Han for sure, but hey, it's it's fun. Uh, oh, top lane, the arrow is going to hit right here on the Master of Arms. He's in a lot of trouble, 3.6 seconds done. In the meantime, though, Hammerstorm going for the turn on Voodoo Jester. Who's going to get the blood? Let's go first. It will be Stay Green. Stay Green gets it just before, and now it's a two versus two. Who's going to fall with this here? Pyromancer is in trouble. There is the Blazing Star, or the Burning Shadows, excuse me. And down goes Pyromancer. Valkyrie just on the run. Not enough mana for Hammerstorm, of course, for another stun. And uh oh, Super KG maybe getting a little too focused right here. Master Rhymes is running in. We'll get the stun off. A beautiful hero blocking from Z Freak in the meantime. That 1.9 second arrow on a Hammerstorm, and down he goes. I think it's safe to say PMG getting a little tunnel vision there, specifically Hammerstorm. Is it ain't over though yet? I mean, they're still going at it. <laughs> We're a minute later. Yeah. Holy crap. Hammerstorm's keeping in. Limp is dropping low. Oh, barely survives there. Jeez. Silky gets a stun here, that could be a kill. Yeah, oh, well, he will stun Fade in the meantime. You do see the Burning Shadows, but there's a Hammerstorm stun on both the follow up Master of Arms, but another big arrow from Limp to stall Master of Arms in his tracks, and finally, the stuns will stop with this Tri versus Tri lane. I mean, I know we talk about it, man. The idea of Tri versus Tri can be pretty action packed, but holy crap, I mean, that was just. That was intense. Yeah, I mean, that was plays on Limp's end. I mean,. Absolutely ridiculous. He was outputting so much auto attack damage as well as landing those arrows just perfectly. And it's I feel like they had a much weaker tri lane, but when you get a start like that, yeah. they're they're in a golden position right now. Limp is just gonna be able to farm, it's gonna be very difficult for uh BMG to really kill Limp at this point. They have to go for the supports. And that's just such a big difference compared to if they would have been even in this lane. Yeah. Let's take a closer look at the other lanes while we have a little bit of time here, it looks like, uh, thankfully, after that Travis trail lane action. Uh, Bombardier versus Thunderbear, that's actually a pretty fun matchup here. You know, a lot of burst damage potential, good harassment. Uh, inside, in, uh, insane. Would you, would you give an advantage to either one of these heroes here in this matchup? Would you know? I think, I think honestly, uh, the Bombardier should have a little bit of an advantage, but it's... It comes down to a lot of player skill. When it's any kind of harass-heavy matchup, it's going to come down to who is able to output harass the most effectively. And I think a Bombardier has the potential to do much more uh, hurt and be a much, has a much higher kill threat than the Thunderbringer does. So I think Bomb should win this game, this lane, sorry, um, in the long run. But as long as the Thunderbringer has mana to spam, he's, he's just going to harass and get his CS. So. Mm. So right there, Voodoo Jester trying to set up an arrow on a Master of Arms, not successful. But in comes the Cursor Ground, the Blast shot away right into Pyromancer. Not enough follow-up damage, though. A Master of Arms is going to be picked up. z Freak getting credit for the kill right there. So the aggression here from Stay Green keeping up. And clearly, they are winning now this, this top lane, if it, yeah, as, as you put it. I mean, when they get a start like that, it's, uh, it's hard to not have a, a positive effect after that. Now, middle lane, there is still some action being brought on here. As you do see a port coming in from Master of Arms, actually. But, of course, Thunderbearer doesn't have a stun of any kind, so he can't really uh, set anything up in terms of follow-up. So, again, the movement here from State Green is successful on their part. Bottom lane matchup, Predator versus Rally. Predator's currently 19-5 and five against this 14-2 and two Rally. So, again, Judges fan not doing too shabby. But it's safe to say Swinomel, by the way, friend of Predator, kind of just hitting me. But uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is having a great time down here. 
Yeah, he should. He's playing up against the strength here. He can just regen off of him with his Carnivorous at any time. Rally, not really the hero that will harass you the most anymore after the Nurse to Battle experience, but oh, look at this. They really want this guy dead. They're like, you're getting some good farm. We're going to make sure that kind of stops here. All four players coming from uh, BMG and only went out there Hammerstorm because he's at the top lane. So good good roam successfully, and Cur Caster's Curse definitely coming to play right there for Swin of Owens. Yeah, and I think this is a smart play from um, BMG. They know that the tri lane was top, and what that means is that the wards are going to be up top as well. When you're tri laning versus tri lane, you're going to have a lot of vision focused around there, and that means the bottom lane and middle lane are kind of vulnerable to roams, and they put that to use there and get a kill down on Kyle, which is really, really good. By the way, top farmer of the game right now. Rally is slightly ahead, but Voodoo Jester is top on his team. The support wow. Voodoo Jester. Yeah, Z-Freak, 283 gold per minute. That's actually really interesting to see right there. So it kind of goes to, I mean, Valkyrie, despite being 0-0-4, creep kills haven't been necessarily the most here. For, yeah, uh, for I mean, MZ Freak got seven creep kills on his own, so he's not farming too bad. Oh, they're going for... Oh, the arrow just off. <laughs> yeah. It's a very short stun on the Voodoo Jester. They almost need to have that fade follow-up in order for Valk to be able to get a good arrow off. But they're going for this dive. Oh, no, Minus misses the stun. Yeah, they've already missed a, a couple of abilities. Hammerster trying to hold his ground, go for turn kill. Valkyrie, though, d the tower right there. He is going to be fine in the meantime. Super KG barely, barely live. No TPs or anything coming in. He's left on his own, but that might be because at the bottom line, Predator's going to be collapsed on once again, and Predator will fall. So BMG's mindset kind of changing right here. They're saying, you know what, top in to go so well. We're going to go to the bottom line. Arrow's going to miss right there. Super KG is going to be spotted, though. Oh, the mana battery barely is going to save him. Does he have enough mana? No, he doesn't. He doesn't have enough mana for his stun, and he will fall when it's all said and done. So that's got to be frustrating for Super KG. He lived for so long. This, yeah, exactly. No one porting in the whole time. Yeah, that's – I can understand that might be frustrating. And all honestly, though, even though a lot of things happened, Predator died in exchange for the yeah. Hammerstorm. Predator's level 5, Hammerstorm's level 4. So, of course, a little bit of an advantage for BMG. A good trade on their end. They can't really contest that top lane, and they're making the best out of it. Chessie's now level 6, and I would like to see him. If he gets a Sticky Bomb onto the on Fuzi here in mid, that could almost be a kill. So, he needs to be really, really careful with his, his positioning on Thunderbringer now. Yeah, he's going to be... All right, he notices something's up, so Fuzi... Got to sit in the trees off to the side, and we'll be fine for now in terms of uh, in terms of that goes. See back to the bottom lane. Yeah, rallies up with that great start yet again, just like last game on the swift lady. Happen to be playing this time. We're getting a rally, 360 gold per minute now, and he's already got the bottle and fate or ghost markers picked up here in his favor. Yeah. Predator, Predator's got to do some jungling in the meantime. <laughs> oh, limp again with a beautiful three-second arrow down bottom. Yep. He's gonna secure a kill on Pyromancer. They use the bomb with your ulti beautifully as well. Landed on Master Arms and Rally. Acid Cocktail also got some nice bounces in there. Oh, the seismic side from Jonathan Van, and they will turn it around at the last second. Good timing on his part, speaking of big plays, and he will compel away to be fine. So, obviously, Fousey getting credit right there with that uh, thunderstorm of his, but good, uh, again, presence of mind from Jonathan Van to put the kill onto him. Thunderbringer is going to take a sticky bomb here, but or whatever that is, <laughs> sticky cupcakes, I guess, and he will be fine, though, yeah. as they explode, but... Yeah, and he has the health potion in his bottle up, so he's going to be completely fine. Chessie, however, forced back to base. This is going to give him a little bit of free farm, yeah. hopefully. Nope, Limp is back in the lane. But Hammerstorm is finally recovering a little bit up top. And this is, I think, a common thing that happened a lot during the trial lane days is you would shut a hero down completely. You would give him absolutely nothing. But then you kind of forget about him and start focusing on the others, and they recover and start having a huge impact. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking mainly of the days of uh, Fnatic running the Dark Lady in the short lane against trial lanes. Just dodging that entirely and then just being able to recover. You got to be careful yeah. with that. Keep in mind. So, Sagarin really needs to keep that Hammerstorm in mind. Yeah. You see Hammerstorm again. It is definitely trying to pick up in any bits he can. But, so yeah, keeping it in mind for now, he is, he is definitely under check. But, he's definitely uh, paying attention to that. Predator at the bottom line. This time he has reinforcements nearby. His bodyguards and Valkyrie and Voodoo Jester are here to initiate if, if it calls for it. Obviously, they've been pretty active on him recently. So. Kind of set up for that. But in the meantime, BMG not going to really go for that. EDC Thunderbringer going to bottle up a double damage rune here and head back towards the middle lane. So um, Rally and his start, are you thinking the uh, the early on portal key here? Helm of the Black Legion, I know, is popping the build two on him perhaps. But wh wh where would you go? Um, definitely the blink, I think. But mid, we is it going to be enough? Nope. Uh, oh, he's going to bug on to high ground. He's going to go on to high ground. 
No. That's gonna be a turn kill. That's gonna be a turn kill. If he blows the bomb, that's a turn kill. Oh yeah. no. <laughs> that has to be, uh, yeah, frustrating. <laughs> At least to be said. Um, you gotta be aware of that, though. I, don't, I, don't, I can't believe that possibly came as a surprise to them. Yeah, no, I mean, that, that's no one by now. And it's actually Master Arms is gonna fall back. He will live before it picks up the double tap. Obviously, there was more fighting going on. There was watching it, but <laughs> just stay green. Coming out on top big time after all of that. But yeah, I agree with you. Although it is kind of a cheesy thing. As oh, Hammerstorm goes down. Speaking of addressing him, Jesse throwing out that airstrike there with the assistance of Fade. And Thunderbringer, though, gets the kill on a Valkyrie. Back in the base, so that that's the fun part about Thunderbringer, of course. As soon as you resurrect. I was I was gonna say TB had his ultimate up all that time, and I think that's just really really greedy of Pus not to use it because it provides vision, and I think it even would have killed Jesse there. I'm pretty sure it. it was just come out cool. If anything, he might not have enough mana to be fair. Might I have been the mana thing. I, I was I'm, looking I'm, at that. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's that's that. really greedy. Otherwise, you, you just use the ulti there, get the kill. But yeah. okay, if that was the deal, then never mind. But yeah, no good news of it. He gets a kill on Valkyrie. Valkyrie's farm really not the greatest, but they got the job done with her. They won that trial lane up top, and um, if Kyle wouldn't have been dying so much bottom, she would probably been free farming right now. So he's in trouble again now. Yeah. He is. Uh, oh, top lane Hammerstorm actually. Yep, gonna be found right here. Arrow comes out. He will be killed. But as you mentioned. Predator also going down in the meantime. Courier is trying to maybe be addressed here, but no. Heister on Thunderbird just runs right on by. Voodoo Chester going to be found, and Voodoo Chester will get taken out. You see after the side, Bombardier throwing out a bombardment, but he's just hugging the trees once again in that spot, <laughs> hoping that he doesn't get seen right here. And, I mean, I think they might know he's here, but they just can't really find the angle. So, oh, yeah, it's actually Master of Arms gets caught up to the side. He's going right into Fade. The sticky bomb's going to explode, and Fade will finish him off. Well played by Jesse right there. Five-second error from Lip on top of that. Oh, jeez, yeah, Rally is going to be locked down the whole time. He will start to run away now, but no, the damage is too much. Jesse coming back in actually get credit for that one right there. Stay Green's on the ball, man. They, they're, they're playing very, very well this game. Yeah, they, as soon as they get out of laning phase, they just play as a completely different team. I feel like uh, when they start moving around, it's just there, there's no no team that does it as well as they do, and with the exception of maybe BMG. It's just really, really solid. They know where they have each other, and they communicate really well and move around as a team, as they're supposed to do. So, good plays on their end. In the meantime, Pyromancer gets caught here by Predator in the background. Curse of Ground is up, so probably not even necessary to initiate as much as he did right there. And actually, it might come at a cost. The other the decision maker is one of uh, probably not the best right there, as he's probably had the kill anyways. But uh, we really yeah. wanted to make sure that happened. Ooh, nice dodge in the air right there. As one trying to make <laughs> it like one land. Mid or so. <laughs> It's oh, mid -wars, minus. Yeah, going to be locked down the hammer storm. Airstrike on top of that. A lot of damage to Thunderbringer as well. He's going to be forced to use that mana battery of his. And will be fine, but a little rally compels something. The booty chest here, and a Z seismic slam to finish him off. It's still not over, though. The combo from Pyromancer coming out. She's only level four, however, so not the most damage. And air, or excuse me, Pompadour will live. And the arrow is going to be dodged there as it kind of splits the uprise. But Valkyrie is now being locked down herself in the front grounds, and she does not have a leap of any kind using the mana battery. Oh, the call to Valkyrie gets the kill, and Lip is going to live. I thought for sure he was dead, but he did have a little bit of team support there. Especially from yeah. Chessy coming out his brother. The yeah, beautiful stun from Minus. You, you can't take that away from him. He got both the heroes that were auto attacking him, and then Chessy placed the bomb perfectly between the three. Instead of landing it on one of them, he placed it in between them, and that was able to just do so much more damage than if it would have went on on one of the heroes. Yeah. So nice user to stake you the bomb there um, from Chessy. Really well played from Sagreen as a whole, though. Energizer just picked up by Limp in the meantime, so. Again, the item's definitely starting to add up here. Other than Predator, go figure. He, he is actually the one that he had a good start, but again, once he started to get addressed, it's kind of slowing down big time. He's only at about 200 gold per minute currently. So, uh, But with the way his team is going, they're not overall concerned. Hammerstorm's just sitting here. <laughs> he knows he's dead. The Cursed Ground ticking. <laughs> he had one word. That's a, that's a great thing about Cursed Ground. It's like you cannot do anything about it when it's on you. You can't be denied yeah. anything. It's just like, well... This sucks. <laughs> exactly. Just accepted. sit there and watch yourself slowly die. Uh, five second arrow once again, mid lane on Thunderbringer inside of tower range as well, I do believe. So, are they going to go for this? No. No. Just enough. Just oh, the sticky bomb. Not going to happen, though. But yeah. Uh, a lot of big arrows from Limp. He, he, was, he was a. Oh. Yeah, this bomb. game is just. Yeah. 
<laughs> there it is really cute. Oh, oh big stun there from Faye and Voodoo Chester. Oh, jeez. The triangle was perfectly formed there by BMG. And Stay Green was like, thank you. Thank you very well, much. It's, it's gonna, gonna land. No way, no way. Okay. Oh, they didn't have range. Oh, I would have caught him otherwise. That probably would have got him, yeah. Oh, that's so nice. All right. Oh, just use this compel. He can still be in trouble. Fate is coming in. Has stunned up. Has the call. There it is. Will they have enough follow-up damage is the question. Compel's gonna be coming up in five seconds. Jonas a fan on the run. Energizer used by Valkyrie. Compels up. He uses it to go away. Deep into Master's call at the last second. He's and they're gonna try to buy for a turnaround. He will miss the arrow. Obviously, Jonas fan saw that coming. Master of Arms now. Porting in, trying to make something happen. While this is going on, middle lane, guess what? Action continuing, 33 hero kills in nearly 15 minutes. Yes, this is an action-packed game. Predator's going to fall back, though, before he gets person down. So, actually, good good getaway there from Rally. Obviously, good team support on their part. But, yeah, 23 to 10 hero kills in favor of Stay Green. Jeez. Really important there that Master Arms waited with his Master's Call as long as possible and then got it at the last second there to just make Stay Green fall back thinking they got that kill and then he just surprises them with that Master's Call to save Rally. And it just, that one second of hesitation just uh, gets that Rally away there, honestly. Otherwise, it would have been able to stay on to him, yeah. get another Fade Stone and probably just kill him. The stone item. <laughs> Why not? I mean, we allowed Spell Sunder. Why not? <laughs> the Ion Stone. <laughs> Yeah, again, I, he doesn't actually buy it yet, but Insania Admin here for King of the Hill. <laughs> he allows oh. it. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine again. We've already established this. This is just a fun event in the end. Exactly. That's so I, I wouldn't actually want to see, to be honest, because I know there's a lot of talk about that item. It's, by the way, more kills happening. But um, I also was really the one where it's like it has those places where it's like, is this really? I mean, we need to wait and see to see what this can bring to the table. But something tells me it's going to be changed before it's actually allowed in tournament rules. Okay, I'm glad, so. I'm glad. <laughs> I mean, I, if it I, does. I'm just saying, but I'm not a balancer by any means. But Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but you feel the same way as uh, we do. Yeah, as well. there are a couple of scenarios where it's like, this is just, it seems pretty ridiculous. But Exactly. Like the triple haste ganks, what are you supposed to do? Like, in three heroes I think haste is the biggest like, one, too. In business name, yeah, exactly. Double damage even in late game, three heroes with DD. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty <Yeah>. crazy. <laughs> And Middle lane uh, arrow once again, though. Yeah, Thunderbringer gets caught. The oh. damage, though, not enough. Airstrike, obviously, was already used right there, so. No global follow up coming out. Oh, Valkyrie Prism was used as well, but <laughs> they cannot uh, do enough with that. So, again, the momentum, well, well in favor of Stay Green at this point. Uh, really, BMG just fighting to hang in there and it really continue the action, if anything. I'm sure that even though they're in a losing effort, I mean, still having fun in the end. and. A lot of mid wars action, like I, I said. I don't think this is the right play for them, though. They need to go force these fights. It's the only way they can get back into the game. Yeah. They just need to get better at dodging those arrows. I mean, keep seeing Limp landing them. He's getting a lot of good setup from his teammates, but yeah, he is obviously yeah. getting the right angles. On top of that, too, Landon. Now, he already used his leap right here. Uh, Rally is close enough. One second left. There goes the Ghost Marcher's activation, and the Compel will connect. And Valkyrie is going to fall as a result, so good chase on him at least. And stop his legendary streak, actually. Yeah, he was had a quite a bit of kill streak going on. He's 8, 3, and 10 overall on Valkyrie. And yeah. it's a nice bonus gold as a result of that. Yeah. Uh, we see Z Freak position himself really, really deep here on to the <laughs> Hoboborn side. He has 2,000 gold saved up. I'm interested to see what he goes for. I would like to see a blink dagger, honestly. Just see him blink in, curse ground. Mm -hmm. Pop that ult, it would be really fun to see. I remember a very, very long time ago, No Tail used to run Voodoo Jester as a solo hero, skipping that sun entirely, and going for a blank dagger, just using Curse Ground, Mojo, getting a kill secure. Yeah. Actually, he's gonna go here for the rally. Ooh. Oh. Rally compels, compels right away. On. Gonna be fun. <laughs> this is my area. <laughs> <laughs> no kill necessary. They're gonna try maybe for Conqueror? No, never mind. Elder Parasite, by the way, on Predator. That, yeah, uh, nothing, nothing too surprising there. Um, just really enables the hero. Who's in a little bit of trouble, but look at those phase boots. Mm, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Oh, jeez, another arrow coming out. Five second arrow. The Burning Shadows actually hit Hammerstorm, but not Rally, though. And now Fade's in trouble. He dodges the airstrike, but Hammerstorm does fall. So one for one exchange right there. Good airstrike synergy from Chessy. As again, it did hit the one. Valkyrie Prism gonna be activated. They wanna maybe dive this top tower. Ports are coming in, though. Pyromancer is level six, doesn't have that ultimate, though. Thunderbringer doesn't either. So maybe not necessarily the best place to fight here for the Legion team. Predator gonna leap on a rally though in the meantime. The acid cocktails from the bouncer on and stunning rally prevents the seismic slam and down he falls right there. And now Thunderbringer gonna be chased down. Taunt has to be applied first by Swinomelons, and yes, he is gonna attack him down. 
for the kill. So Stay Green again just continuing to all the momentum in the world. Pyromancer, he's trying to get a stun off, but Limp is just a little too sneaky there and just it's hard to catch, man. Yeah, really, really nice play there from uh, Stay Green. The arrow just connected like a millisecond before the rally ulti went off, so a little bit lucky too on there, and otherwise Zephyr would have probably been a dead man. Uh, so that nice fight for SG once again, and now they're just they're so far ahead. <laughs> There's really not much uh, BMG can do. Wow. Bomb it here. It's like, how dare you try to gank me, and completely turns it on a Hanskin right there. At the, uh, at the bottom line in the meantime, Hanskin obviously did get a tower kill on top of that, but okay, BMG is like, you know what, we've had enough. Can't blame them, obviously, Stay Green was just getting way too far ahead. The momentum is picking up. Fun series, as we're hoping for, but it will come to an end. Stay Green. <laughs> Going to be taking the victory <laughs> and uh, taking the series two games to nothing as a result. So, you know, again, speaking of that, that means their streak has now officially begun. So they'll get that initial pricing. The more wins they get, the more money they'll actually get as a result of the prize bill. So it does start to go up every single week and then uh, a maximum of five total if it comes to it. So uh, with that said, as far as BMG is concerned, they are knocked out. They're going to actually have to wait a couple of weeks here. Um, if you make it to the title match, you cannot be eligible to be voted for for the play match the following week. Obviously, that, that's the idea with that is to hopefully get different teams within the playing matches from week to week. So BMG will be ineligible this following week to be voted for, but then the a week after that, they'll be back in it ready to go. But uh, with that said, obviously, as far as that voting is concerned, we'll probably have a pull-up by tomorrow, if not going into the weekend. And then you, the community, get to vote for your play-in match teams that you want to see play on the initial Tuesday. And then, of course, the winner of that will face off against the title uh, team and, of course, what is now Stay Green sitting in that king spot. So, uh, But, again, banning draft event here, all about having fun. So far, it's off to a great start, I think it's safe to say. And I'm sure the viewers uh, were enjoyed or enjoyed it as well. So any final thoughts here on the series, Insania? Um, it, it really came down to, I think, that early start of the tri lane. If it would not have been that tilted in favor of – SG, I believe as soon as they hit level 2 or 3 on BMG side, they would have been super easy kills up top. But really nice plays from State Green. They knew how to execute that trial and really wins them the second game and the series. It j indeed does. It indeed does. So a lot of fun to watch here, ladies and gentlemen. Props to both teams for providing the entertainment. Again, they'll stay green. They're going to come on top. With that said, guys, so we are going to – I'm going to actually shut up the stream here and everything because i got to get some things set up for it. But like I was talking about earlier, uh, we did postpone the podcast to after the series, and now with it coming to an end, we're going to be uh, resetting some things, get the new stream started, and we'll be back in just a little bit with the podcast going to be coming at you. And, again, there's a lot to talk about, not only this King of the Hill event, but, of course, uh, Haunt Tour wrapping up, you may have heard, and uh, Cycle 10 and how that fits.